Well, hello everyone, and welcome to my Let's Play for Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon, which is game number 13 in the Nancy Drew series, I guess. Um, so this is a game that I actually really like. Like I mentioned, I think, in previous videos, it's one of the... It's the most played game in my collection. Anyway, this is the one I've, I've played the most uh, since I was a kid, I guess. For the, for the whole series, this is the one I've played the most. Uh, so I really enjoy it, but the thing is, I haven't played through it in probably 10 years, so I don't know. We're going to find out just how well I remember it, I guess. Um, takes place on a train, as you're going to see. I'm also slightly buzzed right now, because I've been drinking all night, so we're going to see how well this goes, I guess. It could go, like, really great or really terribly, and we'll find out, I guess. So let's start Welcome around. to my latest case. Last train to Blue Moon. You know what? I think I'm gonna go to see start, here. I think I'm gonna test myself detective. just to see how if well I actually do remember this some help, Click on Dear Hannah. Here I am let's at the railroad started. station along with a handful of other detectives about to board a train bound for who knows where. The only person who knows where we're going is Lori Gerard. Yeah. That's the young woman Lori who invited Gerard. everyone. Actually, she didn't She's like Air Interactive's caricature of Paris Hill, who was popular at this time, and I guess. Always wanted to join forces with oh, the Hardy Boys. and this is the I first game where the Hardy Boys are really actual characters in the music. game, which is Some amazing. Can be a little too rich Probably another reason why I like this one so much. Good. Wish me Look at those lips. Love Nancy. Gross. Well, people, now that our little orientation tour is over, let's get started. That hat is stupid started. as fuck, too. Okay, I hate I, it. I, again, am Lori Gerard, and the first thing I want to do is thank you all for coming. John Gray. <coughs> I am so thrilled I like John. that you're taking He's a cool time out from that TV show of yours to do some ghost hunting here with us. I mean, Ghost Chasers is like the best cable show ever. Ever. And Charlena Purcell. Oh, yeah, Charlene is also in this game. That author from number 10 who Your looks nothing like her so picture in the back real. of the book there. And all that stuff you know about the Old West? You are just awesome! You and are just Tino the Beltane. best! Only the <laughs> most famous <laughs> police detective Tino's in the, the best country. character in this game. And then there's Frank and Joe Hardy. He's such a piece of They're shit, amateur but he's, he's so My likeable. dad and their dad are old friends. And you must be the other amateur detective, their friend? Natalie? My Nancy. name's Bob! Nancy Drew? Whatever. All right. I'll bet you're wondering where we're going. Well, we're going to Copper Gorge, Colorado. Why? To solve the mystery of Everybody what happened to Jake in Curley, the man who originally owned this train. Because, see, one day in 1903, his train this train was found scratch that chin do you know ah, the eyebrow is i which love was it out in the middle of the it's Nevada so stupid desert. only the engineer was on board and he was dead oh As shit for jake hurley he had disappeared from the face of the earth oh and two more <laughs> things before he disappeared jake was rumored to have found the richest gold mine in the world why did we agree to come on this trip this train his wife Camille died on it while they were going to the gold fields. It was rumored to be haunted. Haunted. <laughs> She's gone. She fell off the train, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> ah, too bad. People should never go tampering with things they don't understand. Oh, brother. Oh, everyone hates each other already. It's okay. Everybody just stay calm. No need to panic. I'll get to the, get bottom, the bottom of this by eyebrow raising every three seconds. Well, Nancy, you're up on all that social etiquette stuff. What are you supposed to do when your hostess vanishes into thin air? Ignore her because she's a bitch. If I don't seem concerned, Ugh. it's because I'm not. Lori Gerard is a young woman whose only goal in life is to be famous. She craves attention and habitually uses her father's considerable wealth to get it. So you're immediately thrown into this conversation with Charlene, I guess, whether you want to or not. So you think her disappearing like that is just some kind of publicity stunt? I just think she couldn't resist showing off in She's front of all a those fake. minor celebrities. Ooh. What was your name she again? What is she Nancy famous Drew. for? I never you told me. Met. She has money? Sort of. like, I called you not too long ago when I was at Shadow Ranch. You gave me ugh. some information about Drew. The very name time. invites misery ah, back into my Nancy life. Drew. Fuck Shadow Ranch. Piece of shit. 
If you want to hear about all my problems with that game, look up the Let's Play for Shadow Ranch. You don't, you don't remember, remember me. me, do you? No. Perfect. I already dislike you, Shalina. What else do you know about Jake Hurley? Psst. Nancy! Joe, I'm talking to somebody here. Come here. Fuck off. Uh, excuse me for a second. God damn it. Can we just, like, leave? No, I won't do that. I won't do that to poor Joe. Joe's actually Is this enjoyable. Jake and his wife? Yes. From what I've read, Camille loved to sing and dance, even in death, apparently. Mm -hmm. Jake reportedly told people that after she died, he would sometimes see strange glowing lights outside the windows at night, bobbing gracefully alongside the train as if dancing with it. Mm -hmm. He said he found the sight very comforting. I suspect normal people would have found it terrifying. Mm. Okay, so let's begin this lovely adventure. So, um, a little known fact, I actually wrote a walkthrough for this game back in, uh, like 2009, I want to say, when I was still in junior high. I wrote a full text walkthrough for this thing, because I liked it so much. And yeah, like I said, we're going to see just how much I actually remember, because I, I think that was the last time I actually played it, was to write this walkthrough. So let's talk to the Hardy Boys, who actually look way better in this game than they hey, do in 15. Where have you two been? I followed Tino Balducci, and Ugh. I went after John Gray. He went straight to the room in the car that used to be in the and all didn't this. come out again. I could hear all these weird noises coming from inside. Any idea what he was doing? I was just about to go in, but the next Playing thing I know, Joe's games. got my arm in a vice grip and is dragging me back here, babbling about how Balducci's our guy. Balducci's our guy. found something on the floor right where Lori was standing when the train went dark. I saw him pick it up and put it in his pocket. Then he left. Did you see what it was? When I tried to talk to him, he just kind of brushed me aside and said something snotty like, I'm on the job here, Junior, so just go back to the playground and stay out of the way. <laughs> in case you two hadn't noticed, we're not getting a lot of respect around here. No Did respect. Did we tell Balducci that we do stuff for ATAC? You know the rules. Fucking ATAC. ATAC. American teens against crime. Yeah, we do that's a lot a real of undercover work. For Wonder Cop's probably never even been undercover. Joe, let it go. What Charlena have to say? She thinks Lori is faking this whole disappearance thing. She's not the only one. How can you say that? You heard Lori scream. Anybody can scream, Joe. Especially <laughs> girls whose fathers have given them acting lessons along with everything else they've ever wanted. <sighs> what about you, Nancy? What do you think? I agree with Frank. I kind of agree with Frank. You've got to be kidding. <laughs> okay, Joe. Sorry, don't take it too hard, man. Has anyone talked to the engineer? Not that I know of. Then I'm going to head up front and tell him what's happened. Maybe he knows something we don't. Mm. Good idea. In the meantime, we'll take another look around in here. Great. Catch you later. Well, you remain sitting at the table reading books that have nothing to do with the mystery. Okay, so this is the phone to the engineer in the kitchen. Or whatever the hell. I think this is the kitchen. So you're supposed to call him. What do you want? Hello, I'm one of the passengers, and I just thought you should know that Lori Gerard has disappeared. So? I just thought you might want to call the police or something. Hey, all I know is I take orders from Miss Gerard, okay? Right now my orders are to get this train to Copper Forge non-stop. Laurie Gerard doesn't pay me enough to look do. for her or care about what happens to her, so fuck that. I'm just gonna continue driving this train. But Lori may not I appreciate be on the that conviction. Anymore. Look, Miss Gerard may not be a rocket scientist or anything, but even she knows better than to jump off a moving train. But now if you'll I got me a train to run. I got me trains to, to drive down the tracks. Okay, so we might as well look around here, I guess. See what's up. This door goes outside. Opening it now would not be a good idea. No. Nope. Looks like some sort of steam valve. I think you can pull it, but it doesn't do anything. If I remember right. Oh shit! I think we just blew up the train. Uh -oh. That doesn't look good. Turn her down. Okay. I think if you, you turn it up and then just leave it, like, something blows up. I can't remember a what. A square and a duck. A square and a like duck. It looks like this thing opens up, but how? That is the question. So I think that's, like, everything you can look at in here. There's not very much to do in here. So let's go explore this room. Ugh. Trunk here you can look at. Flippy fins fresh from a hand from the deep salmon. Wonderful. Is that all we can look at? Why did they allow me to open this in the first place? Stupid. 
Uh, it looks like there's something behind this painting, but I can't seem to move it. So painting's stuck, but we can get it off somehow eventually. Sadie Crawford. Sadie Crawford, dancing shoes. Remember that for later. I'm kind of doing this one by the seat of my pants. I don't have much prep here because I really wanted to what see how got? well I remember it. Do you think maybe one of Lori's other guests is in on her disappearance? It's certainly possible. From the way she talked, it didn't sound like she knew any of them. Maybe that's what she wanted us to think. Or maybe that's what one of them wanted her to think. Well, whether What's Lori disappeared by force or by choice, what we've got to do now is find her. Why? Absolutely. See you in a bit. Sounds good. Can I just enjoy this train trip without Laurie Gerard? Is that a possibility here? Okay, so let's talk to Charlene, I guess, some more before we head out into the next yes. car. Yes. What are you working on? I'm writing my next book. Uh, I'm on a deadline, so until I write those two most wonderful of all three. So yeah, she does absolutely nothing during this entire mystery, go, rather than sit here, goes, and she just and types. That's I it. Get, I write. She will not move from this spot ever. I don't think at any point during the game she will not move from this spot. What else do you know about Jake Hurley? You know, the man who originally owned this train? Wealthy, imaginative, adventurous, stubborn, egocentric, and most importantly, he was smitten at the age of 35 by a young French woman named Camille Voulet, Voulet. who died about a year after they were married. That's sad. Where was he from? East Coast. Philadelphia, I think. His parents were British aristocrats. Hmm. Sometime in the 1870s, he decided to seek his fortune out west, so he had this train custom-built so that he, and some years later his wife, could traverse the mountains and plains in relative comfort. Where did he meet Camille? I don't know that. The circumstances surrounding her passing are a bit of a mystery, too. Jake killed All her, anyone son knows of a bitch. sure is that years after Camille's death, he showed up in Denver with a pouch full of gold nuggets and semi-precious stones, which he used to purchase mining supplies. He refused to say how he'd come by them, which of course led to speculation that he had found a fantastically rich vein somewhere. Although Oof. to this day, its existence remains unsubstantiated, and its location quite unknown. Oof. Why do you think Lori invited you on this trip? No doubt because I'm such an authority on life in the Old West, and because I'm so good at using old information to unearth new information. My knack for research is, well, it's a gift. She's a little full I'll of touch herself. bases with you later. Let me I know don't, if you run across really anything like juicy. I think she very much thinks she's above everyone else. And yeah, just does her own thing. Whatever. Okay, so now we can see what the hell's going on with the rest of the old train. Ooh. Pretty. Looks like some kind of gemstone. Grab it. Grab it. Looks stupid. It looks stupid there's one and not the other. That makes no sense. Oh. Well, I guess we've reached our first puzzle of the game. So you obviously have a reference up top there. Where's your corner piece? As to what goes where. Is that? I think that's right. So this definitely is not right. Ugh, Jesus. This one's in the wrong place. I think this one goes in this corner. Okay, so I think we got the outside pieces all done. Oh no, this one's different. Um, this one and this one I think need to be changed. There we go. Left pickaxe and lamp with buell for safekeeping. To open what's closed, lead is the key. Or is it lead is the key? Perfect. 
So we got our first clue, I guess. Don't pull the emergency brake if you do. It's an automatic. This must have been the sleeping car. Yes. No sleeping car. You can't get into any of these rooms, I believe. Can we look at these pictures at all? No. Perfect. I need four numbers to unlock this, and there's what ten thousand possible combinations. <sighs> uh, guessing could take me a while. I guess you better get to it then. <laughs> no, we need a code for that. God damn it. Quit texting me, people. <coughs> oh, sorry. A tale of two dolls. Ill-tempered Edna could not get her way. She couldn't get Alice to come out and play. I can't. I'm too tired, is what Alice said. I just want to go straight back to bed. Alice is me. Edna angrily tried to make herself heard, but all that came out was one two-part word. Why, I'm not your mother, yawning Alice replied, till Edna the Terrible finally gave up and cried. One two-part word? Is it fuck you? <laughs> it never explains it. There's a lot of different words we could we could throw in there. Okay. I think that's all you can look at in the sleeping car. So let's go talk to John here. I think this is Camille's car. I like the music in this too. It's really nice. So John's gonna be camped out in here. Hey, for come this. on over here. God, I'm Hi, trying to look Nancy around. Person. How you doing, John Gray? It's a pleasure to meet you. I've seen your TV show. Have we? And I don't have to explain what I'm doing. Yeah, you do. Right now, I'm taking Ish. time lapse electromagnetic readings and recording background noise. This was Camille's private car. If she had something to do with Lori's disappearance, he's recording Alice's EMPs, ladies and gentlemen. to Lori's whereabouts. E EVPs, I meant. Yeah, he's detonating an EMP in this car. That's exactly what he's up to. Uh, you are you saying ghost? that Camille's ghost kidnapped Lori? What to most people are ghosts are actually temporary distortions in local electromagnetic fields caused by the presence of residual psychic energy generated by the person or persons who frequented that particular locale. And that's my working theory. Very technical about it. That's very interesting. It's all very scientific. But the fact is, Lori's missing. And I, for one, am doing... How do you get all this equipment in here? Her. Did he have it stored in here already? I think she could be in serious trouble. Ooh. Is Tino after? Because I would be in serious trouble then, too. Charlena Purcell thinks Lori is just playing some kind of joke on us. Charlena Purcell writes romance novels. <laughs> End of comment. Oh, all the guests hate each other and I love it. What do you think of Tino Balducci? I kind of feel sorry for the guy. After catching those bank robbers, he can't just be a good cop anymore. He's got to be what a great cop. What bank robbers did he catch? Perform under that kind of I'd like to know how awful those bank robbers were that they allowed themselves to be caught by Tino fucking Balducci. Is Lori a friend of yours? It must be the worst of all time. The first time I met her was when I boarded this train with all the rest of you. I knew her by reputation, of course. Like everyone else who reads the time. Who is she? Someone tell me who she's famous for. Or what she's famous for. She doesn't have any friends. Maybe she doesn't exactly. have any friends. Wouldn't be surprised. Maybe you can be too rich after all. I'll let you get back to work. How did she Come get rich? Anytime. Like, I know she's supposed to be like Paris Hilton, but like, did she make a sex tape? Like, I don't... I, nothing is ever explained how she got rich. Does her family just have money? I don't know. So John will be hanging out in here for the whole game. You can look around in here. We got little slugs. The little book of samplers. We're gonna need those slugs for later in the game, so keep keep uh, searching around for them. Okay, samplers. I can't remember what's important in here. Oh, these are the motifs. So, yeah. Most motifs are naturalistic objects that have specific meaning in the language of samplers. Here's a list of common motifs and their meanings. So, you can keep an eye on that, I guess. Write it down or take a picture of it. Probably need it for later. And then we this got this like lovely sort of game. game. Crank her up. And then you gotta jump over these things. While the crowd goes wild in the background. And Camp Town races place. Oh, Darn. fuck. Well, that was embarrassing. Attempt number two. Uh, 
Jump, horse, jump. The response time of when the horse jumps compared to when I hit this button is garbage. It, it jumps like a full second after I click this thing. And that's no good. I did it! Nice. What did I get out of this? Oh, music notes for Camtown Races. So that's going to be a problem because I am the most musically uninclined person in the world. Every time there's a puzzle dealing with music or piano keys, like I'm just... I always got my mom or my sister to do it because they could both play piano, so Eberhardt. we'll see how well I do with that. Thank you for giving the doll we call Teddy Eberhardt a home, Crowmaster Doll Works. So there's dolls around here, I guess, so we should be looking out for. What shall I play? So Campdown Races goes here. Uh, I guess if you know the notes, you can play it, but I don't, so... Oh. Don't do that, please! Those microphones I set up over there are very <laughs> sensitive. Just about took out my eardrums. Sorry, John. You can play that thing when I'm done. I'll let you know when that is, all right? Okay. He's never done. So you can, I guess, just leave the notes there. Uh, I've got to find a book to see what notes are what, because I have no idea. Looks there like Camille go. was oh, teaching herself wow. how to play the piano. There you go. Wonderful. I should probably write that down. I'll maybe write it down later at some point. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. I'll write it down when I'm about to do the piano. Thomasina uh, O'Neill. Has a weird bandana. Okay. It's locked. Then there's this thing. I guess she's not even going to attempt. It's locked. She's not even going to attempt to open it, I guess. Probably oh, need a key first. Okay. It's like some kind of sewing sampler. I wonder if there's a relationship between those symbols and those numbers. And there is, but we will not get to that for a while yet, so just keep keep that shit in mind. I'll probably do a lot of backtracking. Uh, also notice the awful Ursula doll with the red hair. You're going to need to know who all these dolls are later in the game, so remember that. Okay. I wonder what's under here. And what the deal is with those weird looking bolts. And then there's this I thing, that but we don't have a bolts. screwdriver yet Looks to turn like the I need bolts. A special tool. So we can't do anything with it yet. So I think that's all we can look at in here for now. Uh, Hello? Nancy, hi. Go away, Bess. Hi, Bess. And me. Hey, George, uh, what's up? What's up? I don't think Everyone's any these two are ever separated, ever. You tell are us. they? I have no idea who they are. Nancy, I'm dying of curiosity here. Bess, just calm down. Oh, like you're not just as curious as I am. She's the one who insisted we call you Nancy. Only because you're driving me crazy. I'm supposed to be helping her paint her room, but every other brush stroke, she's like, where do you think she is now? These two must lead the most boring to lives in existence. She called? What do you think Laurie Gerard is wearing? Oh, George, that is so not true. I couldn't care less what Laurie Gerard is wearing. So come on, Great. Nancy. You're on a train full of famous people bound for who knows where so dish already would you Bess, calm down look what you did you got paint in my hair you got paint Sorry. on my shirt you know actually that looks kind of cool nice try Bess. no really you're just saying that because you're afraid i'll bail and you'll wind up having to paint this dump all by yourself george i kid you not you should seriously think about doing some major highlights in that color what color is it adobe beige Nice try, Bess. I thought she was going to say, like, hot there? pink or chartreuse or something. That'd be hilarious. Our hostess has disappeared. What do you mean, disappeared? I mean, the train went into a tunnel, everything went dark, and when the train came out of the tunnel, no Lori. She just disappeared. Publicity stunt. My thoughts exactly. Everyone hates Remember Lori Gerard, and I tend to agree with them. From her Vegas hotel room? Yeah, the guy oh, she's done this before. Perfect. Perfect. ...to have a camera and got it all on tape. Practically every city in the country. And then there was her daring escape the next morning. Only it turns out she faked the whole thing. Of course, she claims her ex-boyfriend faked it to get back at her. Why do we care about any really of this? Like, anybody believes like that. please Sounds stop telling like me about fake tabloids the in this George fake world of fun. this computer game. So what else is going on? Uh, Before she disappeared, really. 
Lori told us that the purpose of this train trip is to find out what happened to Jake Hurley, the train's original owner. Was he murdered or something? Yes. No one knows. He was married to a woman named Camille, but she died. He got crushed by the train. And he vanished while mining for gold. His train was found abandoned in Blue Moon Canyon, Nevada, with no one on board but his dead engineer. Wow. I don't think they ever actually tell us how the engineer died, if I remember. I'll have to keep that in mind, but I don't think they ever do. My first order of business is to find out what happened to Lori. Hmm. Do we have to? Wife dies, then Hurley vanishes, then the engineer dies, then Lori vanishes. A pattern, maybe? Best. I wish I could vanish off this train. Okay. Has either of you been to Copper Gorge, Colorado? Never heard of the place. Why? Well, that's where the train I'm Why on is. Why would anyone want Apparently, to go there? Apparently, Jake Hurley buried his wife Camille there after she died on the train. She died on the train. Creepy. People have to die somewhere, George. It's not that big of a deal. Jake used to see strange lights at night bobbing alongside the train and thought it was Camille dancing. Super creepy. Yeah, I just got goosebumps. Which is hard when you're practically covered in paint. I better go. Let us know what happened. Continue painting your hair, George. Okay, now we can go through this door. And meet Tino, the best character in the game, because he's such a prick. Hey, yeah. Nancy, right? That's right, Nancy Drew. Amateur detective, huh? You never thought about becoming a real detective? Ugh. You know, like me? Ugh. He reminds me of, like, the Fonz from Happy Days, except way less charismatic. You mean, become a police detective? No, I never have. It's a great job, you know. Is it? I love it. You, uh, heard about those bank robberies I solved, right? I wish there was like an option that was like, yeah, you're a piece of shit, and you did nothing. Tell me about them. Baffling case. Two-man team at 17 banks in three states in five days. <laughs> FBI had no idea who the perps were. But after forcing their vehicle to a stop, confronting them, despite the fact that they were armed and giving chase, I single-handedly made the collar. Ah, we can talk shit about them. Perfect. I heard all they had was a plastic knife from a carry-out chicken place. <laughs> you heard wrong. <laughs> you see, Nancy, <laughs> when somebody amazing. does something really remarkable in this country, the first thing everybody oh, else does is try an to tear him down. Reporters, late-night comedians... You need some people like this guy in the world, though, just to give the rest of us a good laugh. Lies about me. Why? Because they've never done anything remarkable in their sorry little lives, and they're jealous. Okay. Hey, you should look around in here. Lots of interesting stuff. This was Jake's private car, you know. I understand that you found something on the floor in the dining car. Yeah, at uh, first I thought it was an old coin, but it uh, turned out to be some kind of slug. Where do you think it came from? Probably been Someone lying there for a hundred years. May have served a purpose back then, but now, worthless. May I see it? Sure. In fact, here, keep it. Wear it around your neck or something. That way, when people ask you where you got it, you just, can just tell let me take the slug, Tino. She gave it to you. Just they let me take the slug. I will make sure to do none of that. Oh, thank uh. you. What else can I do for you? <laughs> so, anything happened to Lori? Where'd she go? She could have been kidnapped. She disappeared she in your hair, Tino. Off the train. She <laughs> could be hiding. From but I obviously won't know which until I've gathered all the facts. Well, when do you think that will be? Sometime in the, the next facts ten years. When I know the facts. The truth can't be rushed, you know. Hmm. Have you had a chance to talk to Charlena Purcell? Now, why would I want to do a thing like that? <laughs> okay. You don't like her? I can't stand those sappy books she writes. And seeing as I said as much during an interview on national TV once, it's a pretty safe bet she doesn't like me. Have you talked to John Gray? <laughs> the ghost guy? Total quack. Only reason I'd talk to him would be to arrest him for fraud. <laughs> like yourself? Oh, this guy. I love him. I love you, Tino. Thanks for your help. Thanks for existing. Helping people's what I'm all about. Thanks for existing, Tino. wonder what Jake used this for. Looks like tobacco chew. Gross. We're missing a pickaxe, though. That's what's important to take note of in this case. Mm -hmm. God damn it. Mike, stop texting me. 
Another gemstone. So there's lots of gemstones hanging out around here. And Tino, this is where he's going to camp out the whole game. Gemstones and how to identify them. So this you're going to need as well in the future. I'm pretty sure I wrote all this down already. I'll have to take a look at my book. But if not, I'll just go back through and write all this down off camera. So we got quartz, we got amethyst, citrine, tiger's eye, olivine, zircon, garnet, tourmaline, beryl, aquamarine, emerald, garnet, pyrope, peridot, rubies, sapphires, zircon. So keep those in mind. Camille with Hagger Anderson and Chantilly Hildegard. So again, more information about the dolls there that you need to keep Camille track with of. Hager Anderson and Chantilly Hildegard. Hager, mayor of what's the name of the city from Final Fight? Central City is it called? I don't know. I have to look it up. There's some more dolls there. Looks like an old-fashioned cigar box. Wonder why it's locked. Uh, so we need a code for this, which is a series of colors. Uh, notice the AG above there as well. That's actually the periodic symbol for silver. So look for we got to look for something mentioning silver in a bunch of colors. Okay. Uh, J H for Jake Hurley, obviously. We got this stamp. Must be Jake's insignia. I don't think it actually does anything, it's just there. We got this game, but we can't play it yet. We're gonna have to play it at some time in, in the future, and it sucks. Another gemstone. Another gemstone. And so these pipes actually don't have a screwdriver to connect them. So this is the first set of pipes you can do. And the goal here is to connect all the pipes so there's no holes anywhere, basically. This one too. God damn it, we're already having problems. Oh, maybe like that. There we go. Figured her out. They're all Perfect. done. So you got one set of pipes connected. I think there's four sets that you have to do before you can turn on that stupid thing in the kitchen there, turn on the, the steam pipes. Uh, and the last thing here Why is there's is a little number. Received of Jay Curley for the price of $3.73, won a Chromeister doll with decorative red ribbon on the 16th day of June, 1880. So Camille liked to collect dolls. The one with the red ribbon is Eliza Sandberger. So let's continue exploring the train. It seems to be built into the wall. Uh, so locked. there's an owl and there's a cherry on this door. The symbols look like the ones I saw in that sampler. So we got two slugs, and we're gonna backtrack here real quick to the last car, but. There's an owl and a cherry, and if you remember, they were symbols on this thing here. You can see them on the car, and you can see them on here. So the owl is 7, the cherry is 10. I wonder who the hell that is. Because that doesn't look like a Camille at all. Okay. So, um, I'm not sure if we can open it yet. 
but we can do... Oh, we can. We totally can. So the owl is seven, so all of these slugs obviously have different weights to them, right? And the cherry is that ten. Square and that deck look very familiar. So we got them done. They're unlocked now for us. And you're going to need to use this scale several other times throughout the mystery as you find different slugs throughout the game to light up these different lights based on the symbols and their values, right? So you, you got to find more slugs to unlock the rest of the cards.